So as most of you watching this channel will know, there have been numerous out of Africa migrations over the millennia by multiple species. So it's been known that Homo sapiens, us modern humans, left the continent of Africa around 50,000 to 60,000 years ago, which contributed to our current gene pool. But could there have been an earlier out of Africa migration by Homo sapiens, our species? If this is the case, this might have been an unsuccessful migration as their DNA is not found in our current gene pool. Or, and this is just me hypothesizing, it might be that their gene pool was so tiny that traces of their DNA disappeared over time. My name is Kaylee, and in this video we're going to talk about the latest news from Laos and their discovered evidence of the earliest migration of our species, Homo sapiens, 86,000 years ago. So for many, 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 many years, archaeologists and anthropologists have been debating about when modern humans migrated out of Africa. As of yet, there haven't been any conclusive answers to this debate. But this might change after the latest discovery from Laos, as archaeologists have discovered two fossils in the Tampa Ling cave in northeastern Laos. So where is Laos located and where is the Tampa Ling cave located? So the country of Laos is, to say it in the funniest way possible, sandwiched between the countries of Thailand and Vietnam. The cave is located in the northeastern corner of the country. So the archaeological site within the cave was discovered back in 2009, when a partial skull was discovered by archaeologists. So let's talk about the two fossils that they have recently discovered. One fossil is a fragment of a leg bone, and the other fossil is a part of the front of the skull. Dating the two fossils was actually really quite difficult for two reasons. Reason number one is that radiocarbon dating of bones can't be done when bones are older than 46,000 years ago. It's just, it doesn't work. Radiocarbon dating on bones further back than 46,000 years just doesn't work. And the second reason is that the human fossils that have been found at the site are actually protected by Laotian heritage laws. These laws prevent any kind of destructive analysis of the remains. So to date the remains, the researchers estimated the age of the cave sediment in which the fossils were found, using luminescence dating. This dating method calculates when photons last illuminated the soil. The researchers also discovered two animal teeth in the same layer as the human remains, and these animal teeth were then dated by measuring the radioactive decay of uranium isotopes, chemical elements found in, you know, the tooth enamel, using a technique called electron spin resonance dating. So the dating results came back with an estimation between 86,000 and 68,000 years old. This discovery is challenging the conventional way of thinking on the human story and the migration wave out of Africa. Not only does this discovery throw the timeline of early human migration into question, but it also challenges the conventional thinking that the earliest journeys of humans in the region would involve roaming the coastlines and islands such as Sumatra, the Philippines and Borneo. Laos is located much further inland and the location of the cave is in the upland region of the mainland in Southeast Asia, which is heavily forested at an altitude of about 1100 meters, which is around 3609 feet. And it's at a distance of more than 300 kilometers from the sea, which is around 186 miles for my non-metric using viewers. So the most fascinating part of this discovery is the location of the cave. It's been known that hominids tended to move along the river valleys inland, but the cave is not located near an inland river valley. So this discovery shows that early Homo sapiens had the ability and capacity to adapt and disperse through upland forested regions much earlier than archaeologists and anthropologists had anticipated. So there have been other fossils found in the same cave. These are dated to approximately between at the oldest 70,000 and at the youngest 46,000 years. Researchers in the area have estimated that there was a human presence in and around the cave for almost 50,000 years. 
Unfortunately, not many hominin remains are found in this region, and the reason for this has everything to do with the tropical climate which decomposes most bones. So Laos is located on a potential migration route of early hominins, including early modern humans, to Australia. So at a nearby archaeological site known as the Cobra Cave, archaeologists discovered a tooth that belonged to a Denisovan, which is another early human species that lived around the same time as the Neanderthals that I've spoken about quite a bit on the channel. I've actually created a video about this tooth discovery when the news came out on my channel, and I'll put that video as a card in the upper right corner for you to click on. Sites similar to the Tampaling cave are incredibly important for the story of human migration across Asia, as these sites have a continuous and undisturbed stratigraphy, you know, the layers of sediments that holds multiple fossils over a long period of time. Sites like these will teach us all about past migrations and how hominins and early modern humans changed over time. I'm happy that discoveries like these are made as they broaden our understanding of our ancestors and their migration patterns. And I can't wait to see what else researchers will discover in Asia and how new discoveries will change our current known history. But what do you think about this discovery? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed watching, then don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you'd like to see more of these kind of videos, and click that bell icon if you want to be notified whenever I upload. If you haven't seen my previous videos yet, then click the card in the upper right corner, or click one of the links in the description down below, or click a video in the end card. And I would like to say a massive, massive thank you to all my patrons and my channel members. Thank you so much for supporting me. It actually means the world to me, and I'm truly grateful for all your support. And with that said, um, I'm gonna melt because there's a heat wave in the Netherlands going on and it's very humid and I actually feel like melting. So I'm gonna melt while I edit this video and upload it. I'll see you all at the chat. Bye guys.